I'm Maeve Binchy and I'm a writer and uh, I'm a writer of big, uh, long stories, novels that have been amazingly successful and I'm the one I think who was almost most amazed at their success with the numbers of translations and the numbers they sell. But mainly I'm a very lucky person really. So I was born into a peaceful country to a warm family. I had a good job and late in life when I was in my mid-thirties I met an extremely nice man whom I married and I'm very, very much in love with. So I got a very good deal and I regard myself as somebody very lucky who by some great joy is able to communicate some of this good luck with, with other people by storytelling. I suppose I began to write really by writing a letter. I was a very overprotected child. My mother and father had this incredible idea that I was such a, a, a precious thing that they couldn't let me out of their sight in case all the men in the world would have their wicked way with me. And also they were afraid that I mightn't get enough to eat. I don't know why they had this view. It was not something that was necessarily shared by the rest of the world. But when I went to Israel for when I was young, in my early 20s, I wrote them long letters every day. I was more or less buying my freedom by writing them letters. And one of the letters I wrote to my father was so entertaining in his view that he got it typed and he sent it to a newspaper. So it was published. Then, of course, I thought that I was made. I thought I was Somerset Maugham and possibly a little bit of Shakespeare as well thrown in. And I thought, isn't this wonderful? I'm going to have this great writing career. I don't have to go on being a teacher. And I discovered, of course, that uh, what had made that article a, a nice, entertaining story was it was it came from the heart. It was natural. It was writing the way I spoke. And therefore, uh, people would like to read it. The kind of writing I did for the next five years was unreadable. <clears throat> it was pretentious. It was affected. It was trying to show off all the time, and nobody quite correctly published it. It was only when I began to write again uh, in my own voice and not trying to imitate somebody else's that I was published.